Hello everybody, it's Steve, and yes, another unboxing video. The only thing I've done with this box so far is just take out the packing slip. It was right on top when I uh, first recorded it, had my address on there and everything. Had to delete that from the video. Um, I do like a little bit of anonymity when I'm recording these things. That's why you don't see my face. But there are three ships from Eagle Moss slash Master Replica in here. The title's probably telling you which one we're going to be looking at today, but this intro is really for all three of the ships now giant giant shout out to ups for delivering this relatively intact the box is in really good shape but they did leave it in the middle of my driveway at 10 35 p.m on a friday night as thunderstorms were moving in i live in central texas i live in the austin area oh that's all you're gonna get from me on where i live um but yeah just had i not checked my email or checked the tracking right before I went to bed last Friday, I would not have seen that this that this was just waiting in the middle of my driveway for me. Had I not seen it, this box would have been soaked and everything would have been ruined. So we got the Birth Class USS Pegasus. We got that one, set that one off to the side. We got Voyager down here and we've got the USS Bonchoon Nebula Class. I'll set those ones off to the side and we'll come back as we're starting to look at the ships in question. Go ahead and get out that box. It's a nice little box. Go ahead and set that off to the side. Now I went ahead and took all the bubble wrap off of the ship just because that's just extra time in the video that you really don't need to be seeing. I'm trying to keep these videos relatively brief, get you back to your day on this. Um, the box is, I'd probably say about six inches long, maybe you know, 14, 15 inches, uh, sorry, six inches wide, 14, 15 inches long height. I'd probably put it around mm, four inches, maybe. It's not a very tall box, but um, one thing I'm noticing as I'm opening it up right now, no magazine um, in with this one. Most of these uh, ships do come with magazines. So now let's lift her up and take a look at Voyager. Obviously the title ship from the show that ran as the UPN's flagship. Um, remember when UPN was a thing? Yeah. I actually remember UPN. I was alive during that whole era. But we got our Intrepid class ship here. Uh, the number on it, 3546-A slash C. So not bad. Um, one of the little higher numbers. But again, this model looks great. This one, I will admit, was not high on my wish list. Um, I still... Want to get the Enterprise A and the Enterprise C. Those ships are supposedly the, like the super rare, really hard to come by ones. A little bit about Voyager, though, based on my memories. I'm recording this. Intrepid class, bioneural gel pack circuitry. You can see there's a little bit of a seam visible on the actual secondary drive section. That they're just above the deflector dish on the ship. And the ship itself, if I remember right, in Canon, 15 decks. Um, the warp engines, the nacelles here, in the show folded up. They kind of deal with the concerns with damage to subspace, I think. But you had the EMH, so you had the Doctor, who definitely stole the show on that one. And I do remember very vividly, uh, they just smashed the reset button as often as they could in that show. Um, eh. What you gotta do, it's uh, one of those shows, it's kind of like, not necessarily, it's serialized, but at the same time, you could go away, miss a couple episodes, come back, and the ship would be fine. But I'll go ahead and get this one set up in the Fleet Museum, and we'll see how she looks. And here we have Voyager sitting in the Fleet Museum that I've built up. Looks pretty good in the bracket, uh, feels very secure on it. Um, I can still see the crease on the starboard side of the ship, right between the hulls. Um, between the two big pieces there. That, I mean, realistically, I could just put Voyager facing the other direction and it'd be totally fine. The detail on it, I love. Um, I like how it looks. The design of it looks amazing. Um, I know there's uh, there are smaller alternate versions of Voyager on here. And I'm just going to highlight this thing on the side. You actually have the airlock from when, I want to say it was the episode of Hunters, when Species 8472 was crawling on the outside of the ship, they had a Herogen hunting party, and I'm pretty sure Tony Todd was involved in that one. Um, dealing with the Herogen, or dealing with the 8472 on the ship. 
I like how it looks. I really do. But what I was saying, Eagle Maw slash Master Replicas, sorry, handshaking a little bit there, um, they have smaller altered versions of it. They have the Warship Voyager from Living Witness. They have the Assimilated Voyager from kind of the end of Scorpion Part 2 going into the gift um, episode with Cass leaving the show. But I like how it looks. I'll get her situated in the Fleet Museum. I do need to put the Prometheus back into place also. I also need to get the Pegasus and the Bonshoon into their spots in the museum. But those will be coming in the next couple of weeks. But for now, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.